perfect way. Vitaki <clears throat> Epi, my very beloved relatives of human family, I'd like to extend a warm and loving handshake and embrace to each and every one of you. As we come here with one heart and one mind in many bodies, with many drums and rattles and songs to manifest the spiritual reality of the prior unity and oneness of our entire human family and all life. And the hurt of one is the hurt of all. And the honor of one is the honor of all. And the hurt of one is the, honor, is the hurt of all. We are one human family. And when we share that sacred heartbeat of the drum, it reflects that heartbeat, that rhythm of life, the waves coming and returning, that heartbeat of life, which is continually moving, continually changing things. And we're so thankful that we're at this time celebrating today with sacred drums, every place on Mother and Earth announcing this new day. This day we have been praying for since the time that prayers began. It has no beginning. Because when each one of us were born into this physical plane of time and space, each one of us were born a sovereignty, ancient, imperishable, and everlasting. That's why we mention like the Semiamu First Nation Salish Nation lands, the lands of the peoples we are on to remember, for they still walk these lands in a spiritual way, still caring not only for the land, but for the people. Or as we pray for them, they also pray for us. So as we're praying for our ancestors and using their songs today, we must know they're also Hello. praying for us as well. We pray together. And so I want to share a prayer, if I may, please, as we begin this beautiful day that Pookie has given us such a magnificent, beautiful start. I'd like to use this eagle bone whistle four times in four directions and just imagine all around Mother Earth, our beloved relatives awakening to this day in which there shall be peace on earth. And we know that peace on earth will begin, will begin by 2030. We don't know how, but the nation states of Mother Earth will have to come together and declare no more nuclear weapons, no more war. And the nation states of Mother Earth will rise up and stop any nation state that continues to want to use war as a way to solve things. This is not the way, Mitaki Epi. So the prayer, I will want to, want to use this eagle bone whistle and think about the highest thoughts we have and greet all our relatives, some who are listening, some who are sleeping, some who are just going to sleep, some who are waking up, all those beautiful relatives of our human family. like to start my prayer with a song from our white buffalo calf pipe woman and the song is is short but it says it all it says wayankie wayankie is calling upon the creator to behold us wayankie chinupa kile wakanyalo wayankie behold our holy pipe is sacred but what it's saying is the stem which makes up the 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 uh, connection to this earth. The earth, that stone represents 
our Mother Earth, represents womankind, the foundation, the eternal foundation of life. The stem represents man. And when you put those, that stick and that stone together, that's a creation of life, life itself. Then you'll also always have the pipe. You'll have, you have the mineral people, the plant people, You'll have carved sometimes animals on the on the on the stem or eagle feather to represent the animal relatives, and then you put the pipe together. That's the man, that's a human being. The pipe being the mouth, like this the body. So this song says, <clears throat> "Behold, Shinupa Kile Wakoyolo, the pipe is holy." But what it's saying is the mineral people, all oh, the water that's sacred behind us saying the stem which represents plant people all those plant relatives they're sacred and then you'll always have a reflection of the animal relatives an eagle feather some buffalo fur the animal people they're sacred and you put it together we human beings were sacred the universe is sacred so sing a verse of that this morning then i'm gonna say a little prayer <clears throat> I Creator of the universe, most beloved one, all powerful one, most kind one, most compassionate, whatever forgiving one, O ancient of days, O most blessed beauty, O ever abiding one, most powerful one, most tender one, ever fulfilling one, O make most ancient way, we call upon your holy power at this time with all our relatives here with us, all our relatives of the past, present, and future. We're all one in your holy power. We just give thanksgiving this beautiful morning for all the beautiful drums that will right awaken the people this day and all the hearts and minds and beings that are with us here today celebrating this awakening of our human family that we've been praying for since the beginning of time. This time long foretold when we would wake up to our spiritual reality of life. And Kashla, we give thanksgiving for that. We give thanksgiving for all that's come in our lives. We give thanksgiving for all the gifts you've given us, the fire, the water, the earth, the wind, all these sacred elements. We just give thanksgiving for our mothers and fathers and our relatives and friends. 
and creator of all good things, we just give thanksgiving for all the tribes and nations of the West from where comes thunder, lightning, and rain. That thunder, lightning, and rain may awaken the people today, the sounds of your sacred universe, the sounds from our hearts and minds as we call out the prayers that have been passed through us and to us from our ancestors for this day, we might awaken and come closer and closer to the beginning of peace on earth by 2030 into Kashla We call upon all those tribes and nations of the South from where comes new life. We might come together in unity and harmony. We ask that a new springtime might arise upon this Mother Earth with every passing day, with more and more unity and love and compassion. We ask that all be given to us that we need, that we might forgive ourselves and forgive our human family for our awkward ways as we made our journey to the sacred place of our new beginning as spiritual beings and our spiritual maturity we're moving into at this time for these sacred drums might even uplift our hearts and minds more to this new day, to the beautiful time of springtime that comes from the spring and all the tribes and nations of the South and their drums, as we've heard them, they'll rise from the East. And the West as well, we go thou to the North from where comes the white snow. We call upon all those tribes and nations, all those drums in the North to give us those songs to cleanse and purify our minds and hearts with the north wind of love and compassion. And we call upon all the tribes in the east from where comes the red sunrise. They might come together to rise this morning and their drums might sound. Their hearts might beat with a new rhythm, a rhythm of unity, a unit rhythm of kindness and compassion and forgiveness. And Kakashala, we call upon creator of all good things. All the beautiful tribes and nations of the East and the South from where comes new life, they might come together in unity and harmony. All directions, creator, all directions coming together in unity and harmony. All parts of our being come together in unity and harmony. Creator, we humble ourselves before our beloved Mother Earth at this time, especially honoring our mothers this morning, honoring all they've given us, all our mothers have given us, creator things even if it's just given us this beautiful life we give them thanksgiving and our fathers and all our ancestors no matter what happened creator we ask your love and forgiveness to our parents wherever they may be if they're with us with us we're so thankful wherever but we know they're with us we pray for them in a good way and all our relatives as they do for us and creator of all good things we just ask forgiveness at this time for our awkward ways upon this Mother Earth, especially mankind, the men of this Earth. We might humble ourselves and really, truly develop the passion for forever that the abuse of women on this Earth might end forever. The abuse of physically stronger, abusingly physically weaker must end all conflict must end, Creator. We know this has been your prayer. We know this is your will upon this earth at this time that this happened. So we give thanksgiving for that and remember our beloved mother. And I say this prayer for unity than that. If you more, more words that? Here. Oh my God, oh my God, unite the hearts of thy servants and reveal unto them thy great purpose. May they follow in thy commandments and abide in thy law. Help them, O God, in their endeavor and grant them strength to serve thee. O God, lead them not to themselves, but guide their steps in the light of knowledge and cheer their hearts with thy love. Verily thou art their helper, my Lord. O creator of all good things, O beloved relatives, I just want to thank you again for, for putting this together. And I'm glad we're going to have this continue throughout the, the, the years. You know, drums and rattles have been utilized since the very beginning of time to bring oneness, to bring us to one heart, one mind, to take us into sacred places, to prepare us for things we have to do. And so it is today, we have these sacred drums preparing us for this great work we have upon Mother Earth. And really when we think about it, it's just becoming ourselves just becoming the beautiful, sacred sovereignties, ancient and perishable, everlasting that we are. 
And in that state of being who we are in our center of our earth suits in which our sacred soul resides and operates this earth suit, this is where we have to, to really be one heart and one mind in many bodies and realize that the soul has no ethnicity, that no soul has no sexual orientation, the soul has no division, and any prejudice against any human being is a violation of the understanding of the soul, for the soul is one, one with our creator. We are one, and yet the creator is given this beautiful universe by which we might learn this. Let's share this last thought. You know, when we're, when we're consummated, when we're conceived into this world, we're tiny, we're so microscopic. And yet in this, this microscopic beginning of the fusion of the love, of the, of the energy, of the, of the passion of our mother and father, we're born in this world. We're born. We're given that spark of life, the most precious thing that we could have in this life. And in our mother's womb, we grow our arms and legs and eyes and ears. We don't need them in the mother's womb. We don't need them in the mother's womb. But we're preparing ourselves for this world. We are preparing ourselves. We're growing our eyes. We don't need them there. We're growing our sense of smell, taste, hearing, touch. We're growing. And pretty soon we start doing our isometric exercises, kicking and moving, getting ready for our journey. Getting ready for our journey. And we're in our earth suit. But yet we live in our womb suit. But yet we have an earth suit within the womb suit. And sure enough, that time comes. I've been there in such a, what a time, what a magic time. And by the way, you have nothing, if you've been through childbirth with, a, with your wife or a beloved one, Tell you what. <laughs> no worse. <laughs> through that, through that suffering, which it just seems like when, when it's over, when the child comes and there's that beauty there, it just seems like they say there's chemicals that kind of take that pain away, but then it's a joy. And here we are. All those things in our mother's womb that didn't make sense. In fact, they get pretty crowded at the end. Our eyes, our ears, our nose, our arms, our legs, our heart. We didn't need our lungs. In fact, we started breathing an ambionic fluid. We drowned. But we need it when we, when we come out. Take that first ah, breath of air. Breath. In a way, these rattles and these drums represent that beginning of that heartbeat from the very beginning. And here, here... We have our earth suit. I like to call this my earth suit. Hola, hola. Have our earth suit. And to remember that our earth suit is also our purpose here. We're growing our earth suit, but it's already growing in the moon suit. So here our purpose is to grow our, you might say, our spiritual body mm -hmm. to become more loving, to become more kind, to become more compassionate, become more forgiving. That's his purpose in this life. Because that is the part of us that will continue. Not this old earth suit. <laughs> like my dad said, he said, you know, son, he said, you just wear out. And Crowfoot said, life, he said, life's like the breath of a buffalo on a cold day. Or a firefly on a warm summer night. Or the shadows vanishing before the setting sun. So we talk, Yepi, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Here we are in our earth suits, knowing that each one of us is a sovereignty, ancient and perishable and everlasting. Gonna enjoy the rest of this journey. The creator has many things in store. We know that whatever comes in store is for our own spiritual perfecting and growth. And so I wanna wish everybody a beautiful day and that we can always remember these sacred drums.
Mono he meyado, Chenupa sapa he meyado, Haolimi chante washtelo. My names are Shunkmanu and Chenupa sapa, and I stand responsible before the Creator for my words and my actions, and I wish you all an incredible day. Thank you, Brother Jim. Thank you, Suzanne. So nice to see you here. Thank you, Pookie. Thank you all that are here. And if I could, I just grabbed this doggone computer. It's a beautiful, not even the sun has just started to come up over here. I would grab this computer and I just go, oh. <laughs> so have a good one. Oh,